The first step of the optimization process is to make sure that you're getting enough data to work with. This is crucial because it allows you to identify patterns and trends in your campaign. If you're not getting enough data, it's going to be very hard to identify any opportunities for improvements. The first step is to make sure you're spending your daily budget. By doing so, you can increase the number of impressions and clicks your ads are receiving, which in turn will provide you with more data. In the dashboard, to check if you're spending your budget. So divide your spend in your campaign column by how many days your campaigns have been active for. So for instance, if your campaign has been active for seven days, then you should divide the value you see in the cost column by seven. If that number is the same or higher than your daily budget, then you're all good. A quick reminder, if you're spending over your budget, then do not worry, as Google allows you to spend up to double your daily budget, though it will balance your total spend over the month. So when you're reviewing the dashboard, make sure you have the correct date range. At the top right, you can select what view you would like to see. So let's say you've analyzed the numbers and it looks like you're underspending. To assess which changes you need to make, you need to look at the following metrics. Impression share and impression share lost by rank. You can find these metrics in the dashboard by going to the columns section and then modify columns. And here you have a whole range of additional metrics and information that you can use to help analyze your campaigns. You can customize this at any time. Next, go to competitive metrics and then select search impression share and search lost impression share rank. Then hit apply. Then to find these, scroll the dashboard until you can see them. So search impression share refers to the percentage of times your ad was shown out of the total number of times it could have been shown. For example, if there are 100 searches during a given time period and your ad appeared 30 times, your impression share would be 30%. Search lost impression share by rank is the amount of times that you didn't show due to your ad rank. This metric reflects the percentage of times your ad didn't show due to your bids and overall ad rank being too low. So if this number was 30%, then in 30% of customer searches that matched your keywords, your ad didn't appear because of ad rank. If you're not spending your budget, and you have a search lost impression share of anywhere between 25 to 90 percent, then the first action you should do is to increase your bids because that increases your ad rank. So this can easily be done by increasing the limit on your maximized clicks bidding strategy or increase the bids on your man manual CPC bidding strategy on a keyword level. The higher the search impression share lost by rank is, the higher you will need to increase your bids to appear in more auctions. The amount you increase your max bid by depends on the degree of underspending. A significant underspend will require a larger increase, while a minor underspend may only require a slight increase. So once you've made the change to your max bid, Wait a few days to see the impact. If you're not spending more and your search lost impression share isn't going down, then you'll need to increase your bid further. If you're not spending your daily budget and your impression share lost by rank is quite low, around zero to 20%, then increasing your bids is not going to solve the problem. You might spend more, but you're not going to have much flexibility for keywords. You're going to need all of your keywords to constantly be spending at a high amount and you're probably bidding way too high for those keywords anyway. The real problem is that the total amount of searches you can appear for is too low. So if your impression share loss by rank is around 0-20% to and you're still not spending your daily budget, 
there's other strategies we recommend. The first is you should try to add more relevant keywords to your campaigns. This is one of the most effective methods to increase the amount of searches you can appear for. You could expand on existing ad groups. You could also create brand new ad groups. You could also add shorter versions of your most relevant keywords to try and increase the search volume of your campaigns. It's also good to check if your keywords are eligible to show. In the dashboard, if you see not eligible, low search volume, then it means your keywords aren't searched enough to be seen. If this is the case, then you have to create new keywords that are searched more frequently. The best way to do this is go to the Keyword Planner and get ideas from there. Now, all of these solutions should help increase the amount of searches you appear for, which means more clicks and more spend without having to overbid. Now, another few methods of trying to increase your potential searches is by relaxing your, your targeting. You could look at increasing what time of day your ads appear for, also look at expanding your location targeting, and you can also turn on search partners if your keywords have a very low search volume. Though we recommend the other ideas before you try these.